Right now, um, at EG Justice, an organization that is based outside, we focus on a lot of legal advocacy and we use other tools, you know, going to Congress, going to the UN. But the work that I'm most excited about is the work that we're doing with young people inside the country, right? young artists, young activists. And this is a group, young people inside the country, that over the last few years have reclaimed the space that many of us thought did not exist inside the country. There are hip hop artists right now inside the country that are using lyrics that I did not think a few years ago could be said inside the country. Yes, some of them have been arrested, but eventually they're released. They're not seen as a threat. They're not seen as a real political threat. There are youth groups right now using theater in exciting ways, street theater. There are young people on Facebook, increasingly more, between folks inside the country, young people inside the country, and young people outside. There is the comic artist and blogger there that I mentioned, Ramon Ze. And really, I see in these young people the hope for change in Equatorial Guinea. Our role as an organization that's based outside is seeing how we can come up with both the resources and the network opportunities to support what these young people are doing inside and to put them, link them with people, young people doing similar things in other similarly restrictive places. I have a friend from Bahrain who runs a human rights organization working with young artists doing some of the type of things that could help change the platform in EG in a very short time. So part of my work is linking them together. There are young people in Zimbabwe and other places using comic, comic strips, using hip hop, etc. So part of what we're trying to do is link these different networks together so that we can learn from their experiences. So that's a definite place, you know, young people, where I see uh, an important future. Another group that has a lot of potential is uh, women. I think women is also, or women are also part of a, of, of a group. They have a space that up until now remains very close to men in Equatorial Guinea. Over the last three years, on March 8th, women in, in, in Equatorial Guinea have been able to hold a march, peaceful march, but they have been able to hold a march. In Equatorial Guinea, supposedly, is against the law to march. You cannot march in Equatorial Guinea. You cannot have a protest or any, of any sort. But women have been able to do a peaceful protest, a peaceful protest, a peaceful march on March 8th for the last three years. Um, I have talked to women working in Equatorial Guinea, working on issues of domestic violence, working on issues of criminalizing domestic violence. I've talked to women working with young girls who are not going to school because their families do not have the resources or because the family do not want to educate them based on gender uh, discrimination issues that we're still facing in the country. And these are women, they are willing to use the little space that they have right now to start talking and discussing some of these basic rights issues that the country is facing as a whole. So that's a platform, yet again, women, in which with some resources, some changes could be, could be brought about inside EG, inside Equatorial Guinea, in a short amount of time, fairly short amount of time. Because for me, you know, that's what freedom is all about. Right? Becoming a full-fledged citizen. You're not free if you don't have basic freedoms that keep you from being a full human being. And a citizen, I mean, a lot of our work right now, you know, is that uh, civic participation, getting people to think about, as a citizen, what rights do you have? You have a right to a budget. You have to know how much money you go, your, your, your government is making from oil and from timber and from everything else. And once you know that, you have a right to demand your local governor where is the money that was supposedly, they were supposed to be used for a clinic in, in the village. And you have, as a citizen, that is your right. You know, and if you're not doing that, then paying taxes and everything else, you know, is an exercise in nothingness.